Hi everybody, it's Haneke and today Bethesda has finally released the details for Season 7 of the Scoreboard, Zorbo's Revenge. So we're going to have a look at what the prizes are. Let's get straight into that. Zorbo's evil plot is in motion. Take down Captain Cosmos, conquer the Earth and become Emperor of the Universe once again. Season 7 starts on December 8th. How do you play the scoreboard? Well, you earn score. You complete in-game activities to earn score and advance your position on the game board. Challenges are given daily and weekly, asking you to do everything from chewing bubblegum to killing creatures in a nuke zone. Rank up. Accumulate enough score to rank up to level 100 or advance by spending 150 atoms per level. I suggest you don't spend 150 atoms unless you absolutely need to, but we have plenty of time to rank up. So let's try and do it naturally using the daily and weekly challenges. Unlock rewards. Get a new reward for your account each time you rank up, like a unique outfit or camp item, weapon skin or power armor paint, consumables, perk card packs and currencies. Progress through 100 ranks to earn these exclusive cosmetic rewards available only during Season 7, Dr. Zorbo's Revenge. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Whoops, I went too far. Now I want to line this up nicely. Okay, let's have a look at the prizes. Rank 2, the Xerxos Gamma Gun. Now I'm assuming this is a skin for the Gamma Gun. If so, that's great because we've never had a skin for the Gamma Gun before. Rank 3, Gamma Rounds times 100. Rank 4, Gold Bullion times 50. And don't forget when you claim consumables from the scoreboard, it will go to whichever character is currently active. So make sure you have whichever character active that you want to receive these items. Rank 5, the West Virginia Slot Machine. Now I heard that when you play the slot machine, you can win caps, just like a real slot machine. I'm not sure, I haven't seen it working, that's just what I heard. Rank 6, the Medium Vault Tech Supply Package, and we can never have too many scraps, so that's a nice one. Rank 7, three lunch boxes, yay for lunch boxes. Rank 8, a clean blue suit. Rank 9, Legendary Modules times 3, and thank god they're finally giving us modules instead of cores. That's what we need. Rank 10, 150 atoms. We love atoms, so bring them on. Let's look at the next page. Rank 11, 500 caps. Rank 12, a framed Dr. Zorbo poster, and that's a very nice looking poster. Rank 13, the Large Voltex Supply Package. Rank 14, General Confusion Icon. Well, that's me all of the time, so I will use that icon. Rank 15, Per Card Pack Times 1. Rank 16, Zetan Ship Backpack Flare. It's a funny looking flare, but it's a Zetan themed one, so I'm sure everybody will love it. Rank 17, Three Lunch Boxes. Rank 18, Zorbo Power Armor T45 Paint. Now I'm not in love with the Zorbo theme paint, I think they're sort of gaudy and lazy looking, but some people love them because they're bright. For me they look a bit like the basic power armor paints that you can buy from the Atom Shop and I really wish they'd put a bit more effort into making them look military and less ridiculous. But that's just my opinion and nobody cares what I think, so let's keep going. Rank 19, Legendary Modules times 3. Rank 20, 150 atoms, bring on those atoms. Let's look at the next page. Rank 21, 1000 caps. Rank 22, the Octosaur plushie, and look how cute he is, I love him. Rank 23, Gamma Rounds times 250. Is it hard to get Gamma Rounds? I didn't think it was that hard. Rank 24, the Confusion Emote. Ooh, I love emotes. Rank 25, Light Ally, Catherine Swan. Reach for the stars with Catherine, an astronomer obsessed with the study of extraterrestrial life. That will be a great new Light Ally to have at our camps. Rank 26, Perk Card Packs. Why are we getting all these Perk Card Packs? I'd rather have Perk Card Points, actually, so that I can rank up my legendary Perk Cards. Rank 27, Nuke Key Cards. Rank 28, Zorbo Power Armor T51 Paint. Rank 29, Legendary Script times 100. Rank 30, 150 Atoms. Let's look at the next page. 
Rank 31, 100 gold bullion. Rank 32, military stars, floor and foundations, which will look fantastic with enclave builds, as well as brotherhood builds or any military build. Rank 33, three scrap kits. Rank 34, Opus and Obra. I am assuming that is an icon. Rank 35, Perk Card Pack. Rank 36, Watoga Jumpsuit. Now it is a great looking jumpsuit and my only problem with jumpsuits is that the picture on the back gets covered up by your backpack. I think it's time they gave us a backpack skin that caused the backpack to become invisible so that we can wear all our various costumes that have a picture on the back without it being covered up by the backpack. Come on Bethesda, we want an invisible backpack skin please. Rank 37, Trail Fireworks times 10. We already got a lot of Trail Fireworks during the third anniversary celebrations, but I guess we're getting some more. Rank 38, Zorbo Excavator Power Armor Paint. Rank 39, Legendary Modules times 3. Rank 40, 150 atoms. We're getting lots of nice atoms. Lots of stuff to spend in the atom shop or spend on rank ups if you need to at the end of the scoreboard. Let's look at the next page. Rank 41, a thousand caps. Rank 42, the alien invasion shooting gallery, which will go nicely with the other shooting galleries that we've got previously from scoreboards and atom shops. Rank 43, the repair kits times three, always handy. Rank 44, the jangles icon, isn't he cute? Rank 45, another per card pack. Come on now. Rank 46, three carry weight boosters. Now I find them very useful because I'm always overloaded. I have a terrible hoarding problem. Rank 47, legendary modules times three. Rank 48, Zorbo Power Armor T60 paint. Rank 49, 150 atoms. Rank 50, it's light ally Zerxo. Another fantastic light ally to have at your camp. Xerxo is an alien from the proud Zebulon Empire, at least that's what he thinks. I don't know about you, but it gives me definite Fallout 4 vibes where that guy thought he was a ghoul. In this case, we have a ghoul who thinks he's an alien. Maybe that's just me, but anyway, let's keep going. Rank 51, 150 atoms. Rank 52, two and a half thousand caps. Rank 53, five nuclear keycards. Rank 54, Heroic Captain Cosmos Player Icon. Rank 55, it's more perk cards. Rank 56, the UFO Umbrella Patio Table. Now that's rather cute, I like that. Rank 57, more lunch boxes. Rank 58, it's the X01 Zorbo Power Armor Paint. Rank 59, Legendary Modules times 5 this time. Rank 60, 150 atoms. Let's look at the next page. Rank 61, gold bullion times 100. Rank 62, the Zetan backpack flare. Ooh, I like him. Rank 63, six scrap kits. Rank 64, the Skell Scream icon. Rank 65, perk card pack times one. Rank 66, the Wavy Willard's Bubble Machine. Now I've seen this in action on a preview video and he's gorgeous, he's gorgeous. He blows bubbles and waves his arms, I love him. Rank 67, more trail fireworks. Rank 68, Zorbo Power Armor Paint for Ultrasight Power Armor. Rank 69, Legendary Script times 250. Rank 70, 150 atoms. Let's go to the next page. Rank 71, gold bullion times 250. Rank 72, the Starscape floor and foundation. Oh, interesting. Looks a bit like oil or water. Rank 73, repair kits times six. Rank 74, the evil doctor pose. Rank 75, perk card pack times one. Rank 76, Zorbo Power Armor T65 paint. Rank 77, lunch boxes times three. 
Rank 78, the come and get me emote. Ooh, I like that one. I love emotes. Rank 79, legendary modules times five. Rank 80, 150 atoms. Let's look at the next page. Rank 81, 2,500 caps. Rank 82, the Starscape wallpaper. That matches the floor. In fact, it looks exactly the same. Rank 83, carry weight booster times three. Rank 84, floating face Pharah icon. Rank 85, perk card pack times one. Rank 86, the Samurai Sword. Well, that will go very nicely in my Japanese camp, so yes, thank you. Rank 87, six perfectly preserved bubble gums. I never use those because I use the Survivor Shortcut Legendary Perk card, but for people who don't have that, these will be good. Rank 88, the Skell Scream Power Armor set. Yeah, look how cool that is. It's absolutely cool. Rank 89, Legendary Script times 250. Rank 90, 150 atoms. Nearly at the end now. Rank 91, Gold Bullion times 250. Rank 92, it's the Dr. Zorbo helmet and it comes with a face. You get his whole head. Rank 93, the Floating Face Farrah Flagon. I'm not sure if it does anything, but it's rather pretty. Rank 94, Dr. Zorbo's Magic Pose. Ooh, nice. Rank 95, Perk Coins times 50. Well, they should have been giving us Perk Coins instead of all those cards. Rank 96, Dr. Zorbo robes. Gorgeous, fantastic. I love them. I love them. The Dr. Zorbo outfit is great. Rank 97, legendary modules times 10 now. Rank 98, the Order of Mysteries building kit. And this is a beautiful, beautiful kit. It has stained glass windows. It has different kinds of roofs. You can only see one kind of roof there, but in a preview video that I saw, it has a plain roof with no decorations on top. It has a dormer roof and it has a chimney roof. I cannot wait to get hold of this set. Rank 99, lunch boxes times nine. Now let's go to the final page. Rank 100, you get the Dr. Zorbo icon. You get the framed Zorbo's Revenge game board. You get the Howling Skell Scream Power Armor paint, which looks very similar to the other one, but still fantastic. And you get 500 atoms. Very nice, very nice. Now, of course, none of the Fallout First rewards are visible on this website. There will be Fallout First rewards. We don't know what they are yet, but I did hear there will be a Collectron and there's usually all kinds of special things that only the Fallout First members can get. So it's actually worth getting Fallout First just for one month during the scoreboard, or at least during the end part of the scoreboard, and then you can go backwards and claim all of the Fallout First rewards. I wouldn't get it until the end of the scoreboard when you're almost about to finish, so you can claim everything. Now let's go down and look at the new community calendar that they've brought in. Coming December 8th, Night of the Moth update. New seasonal event and lots of quality of life improvements. Season 7, Zorbo's Revenge. We are all looking forward to all of that. In January, from the 6th to the 10th, we have Purveya Mystery Pick. From January 13th to 17th, we have Hunt for the Treasure Hunter and Double Mutations Weekend. I wonder if they'll bring in any new prizes in Hunt for the Treasure Hunter. January 20 to 24, Double score and gold rush weekend. Well, double score will help us advance along the scoreboard, so that's good. January 27 to 31, script surplus and double mutations weekend. February, February 3 to 7, purveyor sale, 25% off. February 10 to 14, double score and double mutations weekend. So another double score to help us advance along the scoreboard. February 10 to 22, fashion at returns, hooray! And I believe there are some new masks. 
I still didn't get the last set of new masks. I only got one of them. So hopefully it will give us a better chance at getting the previous new masks now if they're going to bring in some more new masks. Now it's not guaranteed that they are bringing it in. It's just something I heard, but we'll have to wait and see. February 15 to 22, bonus challenge week. February 24 to 28, Gold Rush and Double Mutations. And in March, a new update, season and seasonal event. Wow, so that means that the current season is only going, well, I mean, I guess that's three months, isn't it? December, January, February. So in March, we have the new season, season eight, and a seasonal event. March 10 to 14, Double Mutations weekend. March 17 to 28, Double Score weekend. And March 24 to 28, Hunt for the Treasure Hunter and Double Mutations Weekend. Lots of great stuff to come in the new calendar. So I'm going to leave a link for the Bethesda website in the comments so that you can go through all of these FAQs if you want to. It will answer various questions, which I'm not going to bother reading out. So I think that's everything for this scoreboard review. Once I find out what the Fallout First prizes will be, I will make a post about that. But for now, we're not sure. But there are lots of fantastic things to look forward to. And don't forget, the new season begins on the 8th of this month. Let's have a look at the calendar. All right, so here we are on the 3rd. The update will be on the 8th. Now, I'm in Australia, so for me, it will actually be on the 9th, which is Thursday. Hmm... Well, I'm not sure. Time zones do my head in. We will find out when it happens. But only about a week to go, so that's great. Okay, so that's everything for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Interaction helps my channel to grow, and the more my channel grows, the more content I can bring you. I hope to catch you on my next video, which will be out real soon. And until then, I will see you around Appalachia. This is Haneke signing out.